zero to 10. And I'm gonna give you two different strategies and you get to pick the one that works for you, okay? What works best. Step number one is we're gonna use what's called a number line. Everybody say number line. Number line. You've seen number lines forever since you were probably in kindergarten. But this time when we round to the near 10, our number line is always going to start with only two numbers on it. And those are multiples of 10. So we're going to count by 10 to make sure we know how to count by 10. Here we go. 10, 20, come on, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. Keep going. 110, 120, 130, 140, 150, 160. 170, 180, 190, 200. And we'll stop right there. We'll stop right there. Let's pretend that I give you this number. Okay, everybody watch up here because this is our first strategy. Oh, I'm looking at someone who's not looking at me. I need your IQ. This is how you learn. My number that I want you to look at is the number 32. Okay? Now, when I have a number line, I'm only going to use multiples of 10. That means I can only count by 10. Does 32 come between 10 and 20? No, no it doesn't. Say, no, it doesn't. Yeah. Yeah. Does 32 come between 20 and 30? Yes. No. no, it doesn't. No, because if it stops at 30, then I never get to 32. So here's how I figure it out. I look at the tens place. That's where I start. Everybody say 30. 30. That 3 is really where 30. It gets to go first. If I add 10 more, 30 plus 10 more is 40. 40. That's where this comes right here, okay? So that's how I find out the numbers on my number line. I look in the tens place. That 3 is where 30. It goes first. Then I add 10 more. 30 plus 10 is 40. Now, if I were doing a number line, it would look like this. 31, 32, 33, 34, 35. I'm going to write that so I don't forget. 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, right? If I had to put 32 on this number line, I would say 31, 32. This is 32, and I'm going to write it so you see it. If I look at 32, I'm calling on Landon. Landon, is this 32 closer to this big number of 30, or is 32 closer to the big number of 40? It's way closer, guys, look right here. It's really, it's really close this way, isn't it? Yeah. So I circle it and I say, hey, guess what? 32 is rounded to 30. Let's try another one. Okay, let's pretend I'm looking at the number 47. Well, first I have to make my number line. And Miss Ella's been paying attention. She said, oh, Mrs. Dunn, that four is really worth 40. 40. So, oh my goodness, this is so here. I have to add 10 more. What's 40 plus 10? 50. 50. Oh my goodness, that's 50. Okay, and now I make my number line. You ready? That's all I do. I make my number line. 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50. And now I'm going to plot 47. If this is 45, let's save ourselves some time. This is 45, 46, 47. And I look at 47 and I say, oh my goodness, I have two choices. Is it closer to 40? No. No. Is it closer to 50? Yes. yes. Then we're going to say 47 is closer to 50. It rounds to 50. That's what rounding is. It's saying, which is it closer to on a number line? Okay. So let's do another one. Here we go. Let's come down here. And let's pretend... I'm looking at this number. I'm looking at the number 19. Well, I heard somebody say, oh, that's easy. Well, let's prove it. You ready? Go to the tens place. That's not worth one. It's worth 10. It's worth 10. 10. Then I write 10 first. I add 10 more and I get 20. Okay. Then I make my number line. Here we go. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Okay, if I'm plotting 19, that's 15. 15, 17, 18, 19. Now, I'm calling on all my scholars. If this is 19, number 19, then I'm going to say 19 plus 20 is 20. Okay, 19 plus 20 is 20. Then I'm going to say 20 plus 20 is 20. Then I'm going to say 20 plus 20 is 20. Then I'm going to say 20 plus 20 is 20. Then I'm going to say 20 plus 20 is 20. Then I'
much it closes to. 20. Twenty. It rounds to twenty. Okay. Here's what I want. You're going to get your right erase boards out at this time, and you're going to practice. Zoe, you're going to keep filming for us because you're doing a great job, and thank you. Scholars, grab your right erase boards and the marker, please, and thank you. And let's do just a little bit of practice with rounding on a number line today. Okay. I'm going to come over here. All I want you to do, scholars, is you're going to draw the great line segment. Oh, boy, let's make this a line segment. We just learned about that this morning. With our last minute, I'll put two end points here. Bump it up. Bump it up. We're going to bump it up to the bigger number every time. 